Let's get ready. Let's get ready for the warm ups. Come up to standing position. The first is to improve the lower back. Spread the legs a little bit. Keep your balance. Keep the hands in front. Breathe in, raise your hands. Bend the wrist forward. Breathing out, bend forward. When your body is horizontal to the ground, hold your breath. Swing down as long as you can hold your breath. And you want to breathe in, breathing in, come up to the horizontal position and hold your breath. Then breathe out, hold your breath, swim in. Then come up. One last round. Come up. And relax. Now we'll do a sideways bend. So spread the legs out. Turn the right foot to the right side. Keep the hands by the side. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, bend the right leg. Take the right hand down towards. Take the left hand over the head. Keep the face looking straight forward. Hold your breath. Hold your position. Breathing in, come back. Left hand goes back from up. Right hand slides up. Second round. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, bend the right leg. Take the right hand sliding down towards the right foot. Left hand over the head. Keep the face looking straight. Hold your breath. Breathing in, slowly come back. Last round, take a deep breath in, as you breathe out, as you breathe in, come back and relax. Take a couple of breaths, <laughs> observe your body. Feel how the weight of the body is being distributed between the two sides. Then once again, stretch your leg. Turn the right left foot to the left side. Breathing out, slide down, left hand down the left side to the left foot. Right hand over the head. Look straight ahead. Then breathing in, slowly come back. Second round, breathing out, slide down. Breathing in, slowly come back. Last round. Slowly come back and then once again relax. Now keep your hands crossed in front, both the palms touching the opposite elbow. Breathing in, bring the hands over the head, hold your breath. Push the hand as much behind as you comfortably can. 
hold your breath and then when you want to breathe out breathing out bring the hands all the way down toward the chest take a couple of breaths once again breathing in take the hands up hold the breath move the hands behind breathing out slowly bring back third round release and relax <laughs> now you're going to make a fist with the thumbs inside all the fingers rotated now in this you will first use the left hand and keep it under the left armpit press it into the left armpit the right hand will bring in front with the uh, wrist bent and the fist downwards take a deep breath in actually you should bring this up when you are breathing in so bring this up breathing in hold your breath rotate three times around the head clockwise three times anti clockwise holding the breath and then bring the hands back down breathing out so second round without instructions start breathing in last round now the opposite side so the right hand will press on the right armpit left hand will come on top start breathing in second round last round <laughs> and release and relax sit down you can do kapal bhati and then relax
stop the practice, be in a meditative position. Get ready to chant mantra Om seven times. <clears throat> Make your sankalpa. I am chanting Om, creating protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies, and viruses. I am creating three layers of protection. On my outermost layer, I have six friendly creatures an elephant behind me, a peacock in front, a tiger on my right side, a lion on my left side, an eagle above my head, and a black tortoise below me. Inside of that, I have a big ring with balls of fire. I am lighting all the balls, allowing a firewall of protection to go up all around me. Third layer of protection, comes from the subtle energy of the mantra Om that I am chanting. Take a deep breath in for Om Mantra. Om. Now take your awareness to Swadhisthana Chakra, six petal lotus, orange color. Take a deep breath in. Shift your awareness to Manipura Chakra behind your navel, 10 petal lotus, yellow color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Now take your awareness to Anahata Chakra behind your heart center. 12 petal lotus green color. Increase pitch further. Take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra behind your throat pit. 16 petal lotus, blue color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Shift your awareness to Apnya Chakra behind your eyebrow center, two petal lotus, indigo color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Your awareness to Sahasrara Chakra, center of the top of your head, thousand petal lotus, white color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh...
ओम शांति मंत्र ओम सहना बवतु सहना गुणतु सह वीर करवा वह तेजस्वी नामीतमस्तु मा विदिशा वह ओं शांति 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 Keep your hands in linga mudra. Make your sankalpa. I am chanting Mahamriti Nje mantra for physical health and mental well-being. Chanting the mantra every day helps me maintain the best of health mentally and physically. All my brain cells and my body cells are operating optimally and in harmony with each other. I can feel your grace, my Lord, penetrating deep into my body, energizing each and every brain cell and body cell, keeping me in pristine health at all times. I bow down before you thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me in pristine health and I promise to put in efforts from my side for keeping my body in a befitting condition for you to reside inside my body in your effulgent form. Get ready. Om Triyambakam Ejamage Sudandim Pushtivardhanam Purvaal Kamivabandhanan Mrityur Mukshi Yamamritat Om Triyambakam Mejamage Sudandim Pushtivardhanam Purvarukam Ivabandhanan Mrityur Mukshi Yamamritat Om Triyambakam Mejamage Sudandim Pushtivardhanam Purvarukam Ivabandhanan Mrityur Mukshi Yamamritat Om Shanti 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 Slowly disengage your hands, keep them on your knees. Keep your body completely steady and erect. Just become aware of your body, the posture in which you are sitting. How exactly have you crossed your legs? Which portions of your legs are touching the ground? When you have crossed your legs, which leg is on top, which leg is on the bottom? That seems to be your habitual method of folding. So without opening your eyes, can you reverse it? Whichever leg is on top, try to take it to the bottom. Whichever leg is in the bottom, try to take it to the top. When you change your position, what exactly are the feelings that you are experiencing? Does it make you feel strange? Does it make you feel there is something odd in yourself? Get, get used to this non-habitual folding. And from now onwards, try and reverse every day. One day habitual, one day non-habitual. Let the body get used to both the sides crossing with each leg on top at one time. Is the body now slowly getting used to the posture? Is it getting acclimatized to this non-habitual crossing? In this posture, can you bring your attention to your chitakash, the space in front of your forehead? And what do you see there? Do you see a dark 
infinite space like a black hole. You see some colors, some brightness, dots of light. Whatever you can see, experience it. As you're looking at this space and absorbing whatever you are seeing, where is your mind? Is it participating with you at looking at the Chitakash or has the mind already taken you somewhere else? If it has taken you somewhere else, try and gently bring it back to focus on the Chitakash and ask your mind to participate with you in observing what can be seen in Chitakash. As soon as you instructed the mind to observe with you, did, did, did the mind project any image which you could instantaneously recognize? What kind of thought processes the mind is throwing up now? Are they throwing up multiple happy occasions that you have experienced before in life? Or is it throwing up multitude of difficulties that you experience in life? Continue to coax your mind to participate in the observation of Chitakash. Ask yourself a question as to whether you can transcend these emotions of feeling of happiness or unhappiness at various events and stay disconnected with them as a passive observer. Let the images unfold in whichever way they come. Let the instances unfold in whichever way they come. Then try to see a bright golden light at the center of the forehead. And visualize as though this light is becoming bigger and bigger. And it is finally encircling you completely. You are basking in the midst of this golden light. And somehow, a strange feeling of calm, peace is pervading your entire body. There is a sense of contentment, a sense of acceptance of what comes your way. It's making you feel nice, pleasant. Contented. Now slowly give up all this, feel the light disappearing, become conscious of your posture, gently turn your head from side to side. Then rub your hands, place them on your eyes. Then lie on your back for the balance practices on the lower extremities. 
we will start by experiencing a body scan very quickly so pay attention to your posture the way in which you are lying down mentally relax the whole body then slowly bring your awareness to both your foot and pay attention as to how you are holding them they could be completely flopped on the side or they could be raised a little from the ground with the toes in the hair if they are not completely flopped on the side from the ground how exactly are they raised and are they symmetrical on the right and the left side can you experience the pressure between the heels and do you experience any difference or dissimilarity between the way the pressure is between the heels and the ground then pay attention to your calf muscles how are they pressing against the ground what is the pressure between them are they symmetrical on the right and the left side then come down to pay attention to your knees pay attention particularly to the back of the knees do you feel they are touching the ground or are they raised slightly from the ground they are raised from the ground are they symmetrically raised on the right side and the left side then pay attention to both the thighs how are they pressing against the ground and is it symmetrical on the right and the left then both the glutes repeat the same with respect to pressure and comparison then pay attention to the spinal cord particularly your vertebrae and pay attention to each vertebrae and see how many of them can you recognize touching the ground as you are doing it command your body to relax more and more as you command the body to relax more do you experience any change in those vertebrae touching the ground and finally your head how is it pressing against the ground and also both your shoulders are they aligned along the ground or are they raised from the ground and then get ready for the first practice you will spread the legs a little wider you will take both the hands over the head and spread it in such a way that the right hand is diagonally across the left leg the left hand is diagonally across the right leg and the body is like an x once you are in this position slowly slide the right leg forward away from the body and slowly bring it back second round slide the right leg further away from the body and slowly bring it back last round slide the right leg away from the body in this position you will just try to take the leg forward downwards towards the away from the body 
and then bring it back. Now slide the left hand away from the head. Slide the left hand away from the head and slowly bring it back. Second round, slide the left hand away from the body, away from the head, bring it back. Third round, slide the left hand away from the body and slowly bring it back. Now slide the left leg. As you slide the left leg, pay attention to what exactly is making that movement happen. Does something happen to the left, right leg when you're left sliding the left leg forward? What happens to your pelvic region when you're sliding the left leg forward to the right side? Is it bending in any particular manner? Pay attention to it. Be aware as to how the body makes the movement happen. Last round, slide the left leg forward and then bring it back. And now slide the left, I mean right hand away from the body and see what happens to the right side of the body and the left side of the body. Something happens on both sides in the pelvic area. Pay attention to it. Second round, try and breathe in when you're sliding the hand down, breathe out when you're coming back. The last round, breathe out when you're taking the hand behind and breathe in when you're bringing it back and see, does the change in the breathing make you feel any different? Now, we are going to comfortably rotate so first, we'll go a little slow. So first, slide the right leg forward. See what happens to the left side. Then take the left hand away from the body. See what happens to the right side. Then take the right hand away from the body. See what happens to the left side. Then take the left leg away from the body. See what happens to the right leg. Allow the body to naturally do this and see if it can increase your range of motions. Right leg forward, left hand, right hand, left leg, right leg, 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 left hand, right hand, left leg. One last round, right leg, left hand, right hand, left leg, and then come back to normal neutral position and relax. You have just done a small practice. How does this simple practice makes your body feel now? Again, very quickly scan your heels, calf muscles, back of the knees, thighs, glutes, spinal cord, shoulder and head. And see if there is any change that you can notice in any of them as compared to what you saw or noticed before. And now we are going to come on to the chair position by turning to one side. So you will lie on your left side. The right side is on top. The right hand is stretched out. You are resting your head on the right hand, bringing the knees up. Now in this position, You're going to lift the left knee up towards the ceiling, keeping both the feet together. And very slowly bring it back. Second round, breathing in when you're raising the knee up towards the ceiling. Very slowly come back. Third round, breathing in very slowly, take the knee up. Slowly bring your knee back to rest on the other knee.
Now you're going to pick your foot up. So take the foot up toward the ceiling, the top foot. The knees are together. Very slowly breathing out. Bring your foot back to rest on the other foot. Second round, raise your foot up from the other foot. Very slowly breathing out, bring both the feet together. Last round. Now relax for some time. Now we're going to raise the whole leg up. That is the top leg. And then slowly come back. Correct. Second round, breathing in while taking the leg up. Breathing out while bringing the leg back. Last round. And come back. If you want, you can turn on your back a little bit, relax. Catch your breath before we continue further. Remember when you're turning onto your side, you are in the chair position. That means your thighs are at right angle to the torso and the lower leg is at right angle to your thighs. So move the legs a little forward so that it is exactly in the chair-like position. Now, in this position itself, we'll complete a couple of more practices before we turn to the other side. So when you are on this position, this is the chair position. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Yeah. Now in this, in this you're going to straighten the top leg and keeping it in that position, you're going to raise the top leg towards the ceiling and slowly bring it back. Start. Second round, slowly bring it back. And relax. Now, keeping the leg the same way, turn your toes to face towards the ceiling and then lift your leg up. And keeping it facing towards the ceiling, bring the leg down. Second round, breathing in when you're taking the leg up. Breathing out when you're taking the leg down. Last round. And relax. Now keeping the leg that way, you're going to take the toes pointing to the ceiling, the heels point, I mean, toes pointing to the ground, heels pointing to the ceiling. And keeping the toes pointed to the floor, lift your leg up. 
and then slowly bring it back. Last round. Now the last of the moves, you're going to take the toes pointing towards the ceiling while raising the leg up and then bend it towards the floor when you're bringing the leg down. Turn the toes facing to the ceiling when you're taking the leg up. Turn it facing to the floor when you're taking the leg down. <coughs> last round. And then very slowly relax, go on your back, and then turn to the other side so that the other side is on top. The side that you practiced will go on the bottom. So start with the first move, taking the top knee away from the other knee towards the ceiling. Slowly bring the knee back to rest on the other knee. Second round, breathing in when you're taking the knee up. Breathing out when you're taking it slowly back. Pay attention to your glute muscles, which are enabling this movement to happen. Can you feel the contraction at the glutes? Now relax. Now we're going to pick only the top foot away from the other foot. Very slowly allow it to come back. Second round, lift your foot up from the other foot. Slowly allow your foot to come back to rest on the other foot. Third round, lifting your feet up toward the ceiling. Slowly bring your foot back to rest. We are going to take the whole leg up. Slowly bring, breathing in, lift the whole leg up. Slowly breathing out, allow your leg to come back to rest on the other leg. Second round, breathing in. Slowly breathing out. Third round, breathing in. Slowly breathing out. Allow yourself to rest a couple of minutes. Feel the experience and the effect of what you've done. If you want to rest on your back, rest and then come back to normal position. I mean, the chair position when you're ready. Take your time. Experiencing the effect of what you've done is a very crucial part of the somatic practices. When you're ready, come back, straighten the top leg, keep the feet flopped along the ground, keeping the leg in that position, slowly raise it up, breathing out, very slowly bring it back to rest on the ground. Second round, it should be straight, the leg is straight, the top leg is straight, Yes, correct. Last round. Very good. Now you're going to point the toes toward the ceiling and take it up. And in that same position, bring your foot back to rest on the ground. Second round.
लास्ट राउंड एंड टेक सम रेस्ट देन मूव द टोर्स पॉइंटिंग टूअर्ड द फ्लोर द हील्स आर टूअर्ड द सीलिंग एंड कीपिंग इट इन दैट पोजिशन लिफ्ट योर लेग अप second round last round and relax now while taking the leg up the toes are going to point towards the ceiling and then they will point towards the floor when you are bringing your leg down correct second round last round and then once again lie on your back experience the effect of what you have done on your body various parts of the body which were touching the ground earlier any differences that you can experience notice those differences and now come back to the chair position once again we are going to replicate the walking motion we have done this before in our classes so you are in this position first understand if you want first watch all the moves and then you can come practice first move is i have got both the legs on top of the other in the chair position i will first slide the top knee forward allowing my hip to move forward so when i say move forward this is the movement then moving backwards i am pulling the hip back that will pull my hip my knees away from the other knee so this is forward this is backward and then you may not be able to watch completely but this is slight movement if you watch my hand you can possibly see moving towards the head this is moving up moving down so this is moving down so there are four movements forward backward up down now then there is shoulder movement this is shoulder forward this is shoulder backwards then this is shoulder top this is shoulder bottom these four are independently done is easy when you combine is when it becomes slightly complex for example i am taking the shoulder up i am taking my hip down then i am taking the shoulder down hip up that means the shoulder and the hip are coming closer to each other then i am taking the shoulder backwards and the hip forward then i am taking the shoulder forward hip backwards and then finally i'll try to bring it into a rotation where first i will take the shoulder up hip down then hip forward i mean shoulder forward hip backwards 
then shoulder backward hip forward then shoulder down hip up once again i'll of course give you instructions shoulder up hip down shoulder forward hip backward shoulder backward hip forward shoulder down hip up shoulder up hip down shoulder forward hip backward shoulder backward hip forward shoulder down hip up that's the rotation okay so get ready be in the chair position very slowly with complete awareness move your hip forward which will push the knee away from the other knee push the knee forward let initiate the movement from your hip <coughs> let the hip move your knee forward and then slowly bring it back only move it forward bring it back back to neutral move it forward bring it back to neutral move it forward bring it back to neutral and relax now move it backward and bring it back to neutral move it backward no backward is you see if if forward is the is sliding with the top knee sliding away backward is it should pull the knee on the same level this is down and up so don't do this it is forward backward forward backward forward backward okay so now only do backward three times and then you will do forward and backward so go forward take it backward go forward feel the knees sliding along the other knee the knee is moving forward backward the knee is moving forward backward knee is moving forward backward and then relax now move your hip towards the armpit up move the hip up towards the armpit correct slowly come back to neutral up back to neutral no when we say up the knee should not lift from each other you see when i'm saying up some of you are lifting the knees like this no up is only this watch my this hand it is sliding up at best the knee will brush along the other knee and come a little in front see now it is aligned here can you see that move the knee moving a little away from the other knee but sliding upwards and down is again the knee can move a little down from the other knee but the initiation is from the hip this is to try and ensure that the 360 degree movement of my ball and socket is completely activated that will give me complete rotation of my leg that's the idea so take move the hip towards the armpit bring it back move the hip towards the armpit bring it back move the hip towards the armpit bring it back now move the hip away from the armpit bring it back move the knee, hip away from the armpit bring it back move the hip away from the armpit bring it back now combine the two take it up then take it down take it up then take it down up down up down up down relax now focus your attention on your shoulder so move the shoulder forward and bring it back move the shoulder forward bring it back move the shoulder forward and bring it back now move the shoulder backward and bring it back 
Move the shoulder backward and bring it back. Move the shoulder backward and bring it back. Now forward backward. Move the shoulder forward, then move it backward. Then backward. Forward, backward. Forward, backward. Forward, backward. Relax. Now move the shoulder up towards the head. Correct. And bring it back. Again, move the shoulder up towards the head. Bring it back. Move the shoulder up toward the head. Bring it back. Now move the shoulder down toward the hip. And bring it back. Correct. Down toward the hip. Bring it back. Down toward the hip. Bring it back. And now up and down. Shoulder up toward the head. Down toward the hip. Up toward the head. Down toward the hip. Up toward the head, down toward the head. Relax. <clears throat> now you're going to put this together, shoulder and the hip movement. So as you are moving your shoulder up toward the head, let the hip move down away from the body. Then move the shoulder forward and the hip backward. Shoulder forward, hip backward. Then shoulder backward, hip forward. Now shoulder down, hip up. So both the shoulder and the hip will come closer to each other. Get used to it. Slowly, slowly will increase the speed. So once again, shoulder up, hip down. Shoulder and hip are going away from each other. Shoulder forward, hip backward. Shoulder backward, hip forward, and now shoulder down, hip up. Both the shoulder and the hip are coming together. Third round, shoulder up, hip down. Shoulder forward, hip backward. Shoulder backward, hip forward. Shoulder down, hip up. Now continue in this cycle. Shoulder up, hip down, shoulder forward, hip backward, shoulder backward, hip forward, shoulder down, hip up. Shoulder up, hip down, shoulder forward, hip backward, shoulder backward, hip forward, shoulder down, hip up. Continue for three more rounds on your own. And then lie on your back and relax. Once again, pay attention to the parts that you moved. How do the shoulder feel? How do the hip joints feel? How do the back feel now? How do the front side of the body feel? And when you're ready, having relaxed adequately, you will turn on to the other side and slowly repeat the movement. Okay. So first is sliding the knee forward. Then sliding the knee backward. Three times forward, three times backward. And then you will do three times forward, backward. Relax. Now you will move the hip up three times. Then you will move it down three times.
and once then you will move his hip down three times and then you will move up and down and then turn on your back and relax and once you have completed and you have relaxed then you will come back and start with the shoulder movement so first is shoulder forward three times slowly come back slowly second round come back slowly move forward slowly sorry second round i mean back move the shoulder backward three times one to last round now forward backward relax then you will move up and down first i'm sorry forward and backward sorry forward backward once you have completed then you will start moving the shoulder up three times up towards the head 1 2 then down towards the hip 1 2 3 now up and down 1 1 Two, two, three, three. Relax. Now we are going to bring the shoulder and the hip movement together. So first three rounds, I'll give you instructions, and then you will do it on your own. So start with moving the shoulder up, hip down. Shoulder forward, hip backward. shoulder backward hip forward shoulder down hip up shoulder up hip down shoulder forward hip backward shoulder backward hip forward shoulder down hip up shoulder up hip down shoulder forward hip backward shoulder backward hip forward shoulder down hip down now three more rounds on your own and then turn on your back and relax and then you will try and watch the next move you'll be lying on your back you'll be spreading the legs a little bit with the palms facing the sky and then you will bring the hands rolling forward lift your shoulder up then you will roll the hands backward lift your i mean move your shoulder down towards the ground so you are rolling the hand forward lifting the shoulder up rolling the hand backwards allowing the shoulder to press against the ground so start <laughs> move the hands a little away from the body starting position move the hands a little away and then roll them close to the body roll them yes and then when you're rolling them close to the body the shoulder will come up and when you're rolling them away from the body the shoulder will press against the floor
and then stop and relax. Now in the second round, when you're doing the same motion, except that when you're rolling backwards and pressing the shoulder, you try to press the shoulder more against the ground. Consciously try to push the shoulder a little more towards the ground. Start. Rolling in, shoulder up. Rolling out, shoulder down. Press the shoulder a little more into the ground. And then rolling in, come up. Shoulder up, that is. Rolling outwards, shoulder down. Rolling in, shoulder up. Rolling out, shoulder down. Rolling in, shoulder up. Rolling out, shoulder down. And then relax. <sighs> now experience the effect of what you've done. Once again, scan your body and the various areas that we did. And pay attention to the heels, calf, back of the knees, thighs, glutes, spinal cord, shoulder. Does the body feel more relaxed? Is the shoulder come closer to the ground? Are more of your spinal cord touching the ground now? And then slowly turn to one side and sit up. Get ready to chant Mantra Om three times. Once again, make your Sankalpa. I am chanting Om, creating a protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies and viruses. Take a deep breath in for Om Mantra. Oh. Shanti Mantras Asatoma Sad Gamaye Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaye Mrityorma Mrtam Gamaye Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Loga Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Om Trayambakam Mejamage Sugandim Pushtivardhanam Urvar Kamiva Bandhanan Mrityur Mukshi Yamamratat Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Rub your hands nicely when they are warm, then keep them on your eyes. Feel the warmth flowing in from the palm into the eyes. Then gently open your eyes. Be observant of colors you see. Then slowly release your hands. Ariyom, that's it. So Thursday is uh, Raksha Bandhan, so there will be no class. So we'll shift it to Saturday.
So we'll have a class on Saturday. I'll send you a notice on the group as well. Okay, bye.